Diesel RX, the cure for your ailing diesel. In this video, we will show you step by step how to install a Diesel RX Universal Sump on a 2010 Duramax. Tools needed for this installation are a drill, 2 inch hole saw, a bucket to catch the excess fuel from the tank, a center punch, a 17 64 drill bit, a 3 16 allen wrench, a 1 8 allen wrench, a 13 16 wrench, and a 7 8 wrench. The first thing you want to do is cut out the sump template from the supplied template sheet. Once that is cut out, align the sump template to where you want to mount the sump on the tank. Be sure not to put the sump directly below the fuel sending unit or float to avoid unwanted damage. Once it's aligned, use the center punch to mark the center of the sump to locate where to drill the center hole. Remember, you want to choose a location on the bottom of the tank that is flat and free from any recessed areas that can cause a leak path by the o-ring seals. The location should also be the lowest part of the tank. Now we'll want to use the pilot bit from the hole saw to drill through the tank. Do not start drilling the 2 inch hole yet. You will want the rest of the fuel to drain from the tank at this time. Be sure to have a bucket or container ready to catch the draining fuel. And be sure to have a bucket ready as the fuel will go everywhere. So you just want to let that drain out as soon as it comes up out of drip. And then we can go ahead and drill the 2 inch hole. To speed up the process of the fuel being drained, undo the fuel cap to vent the tank. This will allow the fuel to drain much quicker. Next, you want to drill your 2 inch hole. You'll want to use a deburr tool or file to deburr where you just drilled. There you go. I just saw all those birds get ripped out. Now you'll want to reach inside the freshly drilled 2 inch hole to remove any debris created from drilling that hole. In our install directions, it is stated that a fuel tank cleaning is recommended to avoid premature clogging of fuel filters. Drill our bolt circle. Uh, what you want to do is put the sump bolt up to the hole and orient the sump where you want the outlet to face. And then you want to drill your first hole. Once you get your first hole drilled, you're going to take a bolt you're going to put that up in that first hole, that way it keeps the sump locked in place. And now you'll go around with the drill and drill out the rest of your holes.
All right, now once you got that done, just uh, deburr everything. You get all the pieces of plastic out of your tank. If you have a deburr tool, it's a good idea to go ahead and deburr the, the uh, bolt pattern holes that you just created. And then make sure to uh, get any plastic out of the top side that you can find. You don't want that going through your system. Alright, so now we'll assemble the ceiling washers onto the bolts. And they just push on. What that does is seals the head of that bolt against the bottom of the stump and keeps steel from leaking out of the bolt hole locations. And you'll have 10 of these. Now you'll want to install the set screws and the sandwich plates. The set screws will need to be flush to the top side of the plates. The bottom of the sandwich plate is the side with the grooves. These grooves allow fuel to flow by the plates when the fuel level is low. The purpose of these set screws is to locate the sandwich plates in the tank to allow the cap screws to be installed easier. You will want to install the set screws with the Allen hex facing down. This will allow you to remove them later with an 8th inch Allen wrench. Now you will want to install the sandwich plates. The purpose of this design is to allow you to install the sump without removing the fuel tank. The half moon sandwich plates will allow them to fit through the 2 inch hole. Remember to install the sandwich plates with the grooves facing down to allow fuel by the plates when the fuel level is low. Now you will want to install the two o-ring seals. This step is crucial for a leak free installation. Next align the sump bowl with the set screws and the sandwich plates. Remember to orient the outlet in the desired direction. You will now install six of the previously assembled cap screws in the open locations. You will want to loosely install these at this stage to prevent damage to the sandwich plates. Now you will remove the four set screws using the 8th inch allen wrench. This is what happens when you install one of the set screws upside down. Yep. <laughs> one thing to remember, don't put these in upside down or you'll have to do this. We just used a pair of vice grips to remove the final set screw and it all worked out just fine. Now install the remaining four cap screw assemblies in the locations where the set screws were.
Once the final four cap screw assemblies are installed, torque the rest of the cap screws down in a star pattern. Do not over tighten these cap screws. Over tightening may strip the threads out of the aluminum sandwich plates. Tighten until the o-rings are compressed and the sump flange is flush against the tank. Now you will apply the thread locker to the 3 8 NPT threads of the 4A-1-02-08-06-07 fitting and install it in the sump bowl. Now you will tighten that fitting down with a 13 16 wrench. Note, the fitting hex does not have to be tangent with the sump bowl. It is okay for threads to be showing as it is a pipe thread. Tighten until snug. Now you will install the 4A-1-09-08-08-07 B fitting by cutting the tank side of the suction line to the proper length and pushing the bar fitting into the cut hose end. Lubing the bar fitting before installing will make pressing it on easier. Route your suction line away from any moving parts such as the drive shaft and away from hot parts such as the exhaust. Now install the fitting in the hose on the fitting in the sump using a 7 8 wrench. We used an adjustable wrench as we did not have a 7 8 wrench handy. Now stand back and admire your work as this completes the sump installation. If you are interested in purchasing a DieselRx Universal Fuel Sump, visit our website at www.dieselrxproducts.com to find a dealer nearest to you.